My purpose is very simple. I'm capable of making tons of money building businesses. I don't need I don't need the personal brand part of it. I need people to start doing shit and sending me emails like, you know what I need? I need the way you started this show, which is my work on social media seven years ago inspired you to do shit and your life is better because of it. I don't make my living off of extracting money out of you. You've got to wrap your head around this. My currency, my payoff, my nut that I'm trying to get off here is the email from you that I was the one that brought you the value that got you to do something good. So Gary, I really love watching your content and I'm constantly motivated by you to do more. So inspired by that, I decided that I didn't want to send you an email. I wanted to make you a video, this video. gathering people from all over the world, all walks of life, to really show you the impact that you do have on people. So keep doing what you're doing, and this is for you. The most important thing, and the thing that sticks with me the most, is Gary made me realize that winners don't ever stop they just never fucking stop like it's just they go and then they go and then they might win and like get a little victory and they're still fucking going so for the past few months that i've been listening to gary v he's become one of my bigger influences and reasons being is because of his mindset a mindset that i hope to embody you know someone who's my age isn't always 100 percent sure as to whether they want to be a police officer a doctor a lawyer or something specific of that nature which is fine you know but instead you got to go out and find it it's not going to come knocking at your door while you're sitting on your couch you got to go experiment you got to go try and above all else it's great to listen to his podcast and his in his videos and everything that he puts out because it's inspiring but you got to go do you got to go activate what it is that you want from your life and you got to go get yours Gary Vaynerchuk is a man with a lot of knowledge uh, and a lot of talent to learn from. And uh, some of the knowledge I have uh, got from him is to be consistent and that you should be patient and don't uh, think that success will happen over a night. So fucking be patient, do the right thing. Shortcuts kill you, like do it right. Gary did not teach me the importance of hard work, but he has exposed to me how long the journey is, which has allowed me to be more patient. I don't know how many more of these videos, how many more fucking quotes, how many more t-shirts with a quote on it, or my fucking Instagram post, like how much more motivation do fuckers need? Like you live one life, it goes fast. It's life goes fast. If I could get one person in this room to actually pay attention tonight, go home, look in the mirror, and try to start deploying aggressive self-awareness, it could change the upside of their lives. I genuinely believe that. Gary Vaynerchuk, I fucking hate you, man. You single-handedly wrecked my life, but you also saved it, and I love you just as much. You're gonna die. Man, I could be in a tree or a bus, right? <laughs> Fuck, go figure. Six months ago, I had no social media. Now, I've got a personal alarm clock that rings and wakes me up every single day to make sure I'm working, and I've got you on my side. Talk about winning. One thing I've learned from Gary is to go fucking execute. So here I am. Although maybe this sounds a bit weird, but Gary's in the back of my mind every single day because I know that he shares my startup vision. I think the number one thing I've learned from Gary V is empathy. In music production, we forget that the artists that we're dealing with are an actual person. They go through their own things, they have their own shit to deal with. And just remembering that for myself has allowed me to kind of get past that wall of selling the beat or getting a placement. Make good content. Don't necessarily worry about subscribers, but make something that's good, that's valuable, that can be of help and actually uh, fill up others. Good things will come from that. Gary, just want to say thank you for teaching me about the power of opportunity, how you can use social media to go find people that are successful, that you want to learn from, offer to help them, expect nothing in return, and watch the magic happen in my life. And secondly, uh, for the power of being both. I'm a real estate guy and a musician, and I see the world's cross, and everyone should start thinking about themselves as maybe two things rather than a one-track mind. I think that's huge for finding your passions it's not about how much money I make. It's not if I actually buy the New York Jets, my football team that I'm trying to buy. It's that 
I just genuinely wake up every day being extremely happy. I'm an extremely happy guy. For many years I was a really negative person and I found the more positive I became, the more I was able to motivate and uh, push myself, the more opportunities I was seeing. I think the same amount were always there. I just wasn't seeing them because I was concentrating on dumb shit, I was being negative, but um, being positive empowered me to do more, so thank you. Positivity always wins, like, I, I, I'm, I'm obsessed. The biggest thing I've learned from Gary Vaynerchuk is to bet on your strengths and play your weaknesses. For so long I just tried to struggle through the things that I wasn't great at and just underestimated the things I was good at. So recently this year I've started just doubling down on my, my strengths, knowing what I'm good at and getting it done. I want to be your fucking cheerleader. I believe that you can, and by the way, not, I'm not like, anybody can do it. Like some of you suck. Some of you don't have the skills. Why do you think I talk about self-awareness and the reality of, I talk about self-awareness, the reality of hard work and talent being a real variable. I'm not some fucking like, anybody can do it. I hate fifth place trophies. Like, I just want you to try hard at the thing that you may naturally be best at because that's where everybody finds their moment. And not everybody's supposed to be number one. But if you're destined to be number 87,000, I'd rather you be 87,000 than 843 million. So when I was in school, I had to obviously do science and maths. And I wasn't very good in those subjects. But the careers advisor advised me not to pursue a career in music because it's too risky. When in actual fact, my biggest strengths are in music. So I'm glad that I learned this lesson from Gary Vee and I was self-aware enough to actually pursue a career in music. So I'm really thankful for that. Gary Vee has been an unbelievable blessing in my life. His philosophy on doubling down on your strengths has truly been a game changer for me. Watching Gary lead by example, working his ass off, providing incredible value, and being himself unapologetically has given me the courage to leverage my strengths. Now I spend my valuable time on what makes me great versus apologizing for my weaknesses. And I'm becoming a force to be reckoned with. All I can say is life changing. Hey Gary, I really appreciate your work. I learned a lot of things from you. The most important one, regret is the worst. And I always keep in mind that when I have to make a choice. I came across your content late 2015 and it's been a complete game changer. It's crazy how one video can change someone's life and that's what happened to me. The one thing that has stuck with me and I continue to remind myself every day is to put all my efforts into my goals and dreams. Make every moment count, no regrets. Like you're gonna be 90 and you're gonna look back and what? Like, like what? So. I mean, there's just so much complaining, there's so much cynicism, there's so much you got lucky, there's so much, everybody just wants to point at other people. Point at your fucking self. When I started to see what he was doing and all his accomplishments, you know, he's focused on the small day-to-day -day things and tasks um, that ultimately will, if you keep doing them, will lead to the medium-sized things and the big, gigantic things. But it just takes time and the day in and day out of, of working at the small things and taking care of what you need to take care of today. What Gary Vee taught me is, Simple, yet complicated at the same time. It's to stop thinking outside of the box and start doing outside of the box. And the real reason why it's important is that when you're doing things outside of the box, you're doing things for yourself and you're executing for yourself. Personally, the most important thing Gary ever taught me is to really go in in something you really believe in. Don't sell yourself for short-term money or short-term fame. Really go in for the long run. When you're 19 and you can spend seven full years learning your craft, meeting people that are mentors, being patient, and you wake up and you're 26 years old, you have your entire life in front of you and you've done great foundational work to go on and then be successful. What I've learned most from Gary has been his focus on action versus analysis. It's so easy for us to analyze or overanalyze and then forget to do because of fear or indecision or whatever it is. So his focus on acting and doing and speed has been really helpful as I look to reorient my brain towards action. Micro speed, macro patience. Too many of you are being passive daily, but judging yourselves by the years. I'm the reverse. I'm judging myself every minute here right now. Like I just let that phone call go by and I'm like, what did I just miss? Like every second hyper, but I'm patient at the macro, which makes me happy. That's kind of like, I'm trying to really get this out of me. Like daily, daily, daily speed, yearly, yearly, yearly patient. Be passionate about what you do and love what you do. And I found that I hustle for what I love and for what I love to do. You can sit there, you can think about it, you can read all the books, you can listen to all the podcasts and go, that's a really cool idea. The only thing that you need to do is just, just do, do it. it. You gotta fucking do it. 
the thing that I've learned the most from Gary Vee is to make sure that we're being patient um, when you have six kids and you're running a business. You want the payoff now, you want to buy all the things, pay all the bills, go on the vacations, do all the fun things that you're working so hard for and those things will come as long as you stick with it. Something that he models a lot is just the grind every day and then the payoff comes at the end. The most important thing that I've learned from Gary Vee is that you can be anything you want to be as long as you're willing to put in the work for it. This year I started my business and it was all because of Gary and basically the lesson that I've learned from him is that I have to get off my butt and just do it. Just do it! No one else is going to do it for you, only you. Stop giving excuses. There are so many times and so many opportunities where people say, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, but I can't. There's no excuse. You wake up in the morning and do it early or do it at night after you finish everything. 7 p.m. to 2 in the morning is a real conversation. And here we are in the holidays and everybody's going to their holiday party and I've got one meeting coming up right now, two meetings after that, reviewing all my email. And so while everybody's drinking some goddamn eggnog, I continue the hustle. And so you can say it or you can do it, but I highly recommend you do both. There's no bullshit. He just constantly reminds you to keep going and to not get complacent and to not get comfortable because that means someone else is going to pass by you and that's it. And you're going to have to catch up. You'll always be catching up. I would have said about two years ago, I lacked a lot of confidence in front of the camera. Uh, I lack confidence when I'm speaking in front of people at presentations and speeches. What I've learned from Gary's videos is stop caring what people think. If you want to go and do something, don't let anything hold you back. So, Gary V has taught me how to not give a fuck about what other people think. And that's just to say it nicely. I'm doing me. Gary Vee is not trying to be anybody else but Gary Vee. That's why he's winning. Good dude. You talk a lot about self-awareness and I'm starting to realize that about myself. I'm 22 years old and not having a father or nor a mother to kind of teach me the things that you kind of talk about definitely helps me out in life. Ever since I started watching your stuff, I've become more of an inspired person. It has pushed me to gravitate to living the type of lifestyle that I want to live on on my own terms. It has pushed me to call myself out of my own bullshit. It motivates me every single morning to strive for greatness, to help inspire others like my shirt said. There's so much that I could say through your books and the knowledge that I've obtained through like learning how to navigate through social media more. The biggest thing that Gary's taught me is the sliding into those DMs is exactly where it's at. It isn't just for creeps anymore. If you want the real business to go down, that's where you'll find it. If you've got the right product or service, make sure you're doing the best propositioning in those DMs and you'll get the right results for your business. It's Friday night and I am at Walmart looking for things that I can get cheap and start listing on eBay and uh, Amazon to start selling. So just keeping me going, man, with all your content. So I want to thank you for that. It's the one thing Gary Vaynerchuk has taught me, not to listen to my bullshit, to suffocate that bullshit behind me. You see this Brett Favre shirt jersey? I just sold it. So I've also learned that from Gary Vee. I learned so much and I'm so grateful. Aside from the marketing strategies that he talks about is mainly around decisions and being able to make them quickly without hesitation and being able to roll with them. Accountability and self-awareness. You got me hooked on those two. What I've learned from him is that taking action can make you rich. You want to build a relationship all over the world. All you have to do is take action and make it happen. I remember the first time I saw Gary, he told me that once you give leverage first, then you have the upper advantage. And then everything you do, it needs to be about what your main legacy wants to be about. Your very, very end goal, your absolute North Star. It's all well and good to have really high goals and high expectations for yourself and what you want out of life. But the, the more important part for that is to map your actions so you can actually reach and do these things. So thanks so much for inspiring us on a daily basis, Gary. We love you, man. I think people lack perspective. I think people don't realize the map between becoming an actual human being. When you start understanding 400 trillion to one is the odds that you're actually sitting in this seat. It's so intense, it's hard. And I'm completely driven by gratitude. We listen to a lot of your podcasts. And we love that you, <laughs> we love that you're all about getting, getting the work done, getting the work put in. Um, enough of the talk, enough of the chatting about ideas. Just go and execute and do it. do it. Just do it! Do it. Yeah, my boyfriend's obsessed with me as well.
I think he likes you more than he likes me. So thanks for that. <laughs> you have to go all in on yourself. It's all or nothing. There's no in between zero or 100. That's it, period. Put in the work. Three popular words from Gary V. You're gonna die. And with that being said, it taught me to hustle. You have to crush it. More importantly, you have to worry about the end game. You can't worry about the short game or worry about, you know, likes, comments, shares, all those little distractions. You just have to follow what you love and then just keep on going. We're so blessed to have been given this gift of life. Let's use it. Let's create something amazing. Together, we are better. Being 20 years old as I am now, I am very, very excited and very, very eager to implement things that I hear from your videos. Wanting everything to be done immediately, wanting the results to be come back immediately. So one thing that I'm trying very hard, the most important thing that you taught me is having the patience. Just close your eyes until you're 29. The biggest lesson I've learned from Gary Vee, patience, number one. And to quote him when I was in his office, it's just patience, bro. Being in this music business, sometimes you get a little lonely. Sometimes you come with your own ideas and some people might not take to them. They think it's strange to them, but you just got to keep on mashing. You know what I mean? You got to go with your instinct and trust that. You know what I mean? You got to know the difference between patience and action and when to practice both of those. I think the most valuable thing I grasped from him was instead of uh, planning to just do to just immerse yourself in the process. For me, that was a game changer. It was completely against the grain. Polar opposite of anything I've been taught and I've gotten more traction from it than, than will anything, than anything, honestly. Now we can be heroes everywhere we go. We can have all that we ever want. Swinging like Ali, knocking out bodies, standing on top like a champion. What? Gary V really taught me was that it's literally you versus you more than anything. So as far as things that I've learned from Gary Vee, especially being an artist, it's not just one thing, you know, it's, it's, it's multiple things. I've learned that the world doesn't owe you shit. You should always have zero entitlement. Winners win, grind, stay humble, and just don't stop. As an artist, you teach me so much, and I love it. I'm going to grind and bust my ass until I see everything that I know is possible to happen that happens. We think the best advice from Gary is one is greater than zero. Each day is a new day to grow, and it doesn't matter of the size of the growth, whether it's one, five, ten, or a hundred. What matters is that you get that view, you get that growth, you get that change. We want to help spread the message that you too can change your lifestyle. And I think they're scared that they can't survive living the life that they want to live from a materialistic standpoint. Uh, take opportunities that I might not have otherwise and when you feel and know that something is right, don't care what other people think because it doesn't help you. I've learned from Gary that self-awareness and empathy are two most important things that I can possess as a human being. What's the most important thing I've learned from Gary Bay, Nur Chuck? Uh, hard work and patience. That was huge. That changed everything for me. It's just a huge concept that affects everything that we do. And when you really understand what that means and how to apply it to what you're doing, huge, gigantic. We're unstoppable. We're unstoppable. What did Gary teach me? What the fuck did he not teach me is the real question. I basically live my life based off the concepts that he teaches. There's so much value in what he gives. And right there, that's what it is. It's always give more than you fucking take. That is what you need to do. That is what he taught me. And that is what works for everyone. With the heart of gold, I can give it all to you. With the heart of gold, I can buy the world for you. So what has Gary Vaynerchuk taught me? The first thing Gary has taught me is that Rick is to never be trusted. <laughs> and the second thing is that actually giving a crap about other people and hustling is how you win. I just want to say thank you Gary V for everything you have done for me. Right now I'm focusing more on doing, on my strengths, on being more self-aware and always giving that extra mile since you're always giving that extra, that value to everybody that consumes your content, that's amazing. Lesson that I learned from Gary V is um, stop being a bitch and just go do. It's it's a miracle that I'm even here and that I'm even a human. So let me just do something with that. To be able to thank Gary and to focus on just one thing that he's taught me is, is almost impossible. But the biggest thing that I can take away is from his example of how he gives and he gives and he gives and he gives. 
Um, if I can be a fraction of that, and if I can give more than I take, um, then I'm better off because of it. And I sincerely have to thank you for that, Gary. With the heart of gold, every wish can come true. With the heart of gold, you will only work for you. Let me remind you that you have built more school buildings in Adaklu, more than government. That is a fact. You have built more school buildings in Adaklu, even than government. Nobody has built it more than you. My love is rich for you. Just be grateful that we're here, that we're alive. The fact that we could do anything we want to do by just doing and by hustling and hard work, but having passion for what you do. Gratitude, man, it's such an important thing and something not a lot of people have. And Gary reminded me how lucky we are to be alive, how lucky we are to be doing what we want, love to do. I think another really important thing he told me is to be grateful. Grateful for everything you have, your family, your friends, your health. That's so important. Thanks for that, Gary. I really appreciate it. I think the greatest value he provides is creating the community he creates, Vayner Nation. And I think this project is just one example of it. He built such a solid framework of reaching out to people and helping people without asking for anything in return that it's so easy to connect to like-minded and awesome people through his community. The community and tribe that you've created is forever grateful and indebted to your passion, your spirit, and your forthrightness in when everyone else is just telling us bullshit. It takes a lot of charm to say fuck 20 million times and for us to love you even more every single time. Gary, just wanted to say hello and I'm excited to have this opportunity to give you a quick little shout out on behalf of uh, Only Just Lucy reaching out to me as I keep grinding and doing mine kind of similar to how you do yours, much smaller scale, but uh, the perspective that you give. And I appreciate that because those, those little reminders that help keep that stride going. Everything you've taught me for self-awareness and patience, your selflessness with Vayner Nation, it's truly incredible. I'm not really good with the emotional stuff, but I wanted to add to this video series. Thank you for your commitment to your legacy, and I truly hope you obtain your ultimate goal of owning the Jets. His DNA should be bottled. Uh, very, I'm very serious, not because we had four points. <laughs> well, that helps. But, I mean, he is extremely, extremely special in many ways. I mean, I'm very proud what this family were able to accomplish, and especially what Gary and AJ. I mean, uh, you know, special kids. Definitely. Thank you so much for your content and for your inspiration. Thank you for everything that you provide, all the value and everything. It does not go unnoticed. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Gary, for adding value to our lives. Love and respect, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Gary's done so much for me in so many different ways. I cannot thank that guy enough. Thank you so much, Gary. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. I can't frame everything that I want to thank you for in a short video, but I can thank you for your heart. Thank you, Gary. I really appreciate everything that you've done for me and so many others. Keep doing what you're doing. You're changing people's lives and it's making all the difference. Well done, brother. Thanks for all the content, Gary. It's awesome. Thanks, Gary. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you do. Thank you for your content. You provide massive value, man. Thank you so much, Gary. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gary V. I I love you. Thank you for every single thing that you do. Thank you for everything. Gary, thank you. You've changed my life. You've changed so many people's lives. Like, we'll never be able to thank you enough. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gary. You changed my life, Gary. Thank you a ton. I love you, man. Thanks so much for inspiring us on a daily basis, Gary. We love you, man. But thank you for everything. I hope you know when you wake up in the morning what an impact you're having. We're grateful for you. Thank you for everything. Bye. So that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, Gary, because a lot of work went into it. I wanted to say a quick personal shout out to everyone who has sent a video for this amazing project. People also submitted hyperlapse footage, drone footage, music submissions. Thank you so, so much. I couldn't have done it without you. And to Team Gary V, we cannot give Gary all the credit himself. As a content creator myself, I know how much hard work and dedication and late nights and cups of coffee goes into creating the videos that you guys make. I think that's everything I have to say. Thank you for watching and um, I'll see you. Bye. Cause we're gonna be
feeling in our souls we carry. This is about to be legendary. This was a good one.